Hello, and welcome back to our Alphatron DSP overview series. This is part 11, and today we will take a brief look at how to set up Dante and get your Dante routing working on our Alphatron DSPs. Now, for those new to Dante, you might ask the question, well, what is Dante? Well, in its essence, Dante is a digital network protocol that allows you to transmit multiple channels of audio and in some cases video, depending on the devices that you're using over your local uh, VLAN or your local network. Now, if you want to learn more about Dante, the company that uh, developed Dante and manages Dante as a protocol is called Ordinate and you can visit the Ordinate webpage at ordinate.com and they have a full section of learning materials, certification programs, online webinars and webinar on demand um, programs that you can follow and have a look at and learn more about Dante and like I mentioned, uh, actually get certified on Dante networking. So let's get into the DSPs from our side. As I mentioned, we are not looking at setting up full Dante networks uh, and teaching you all the ins and outs. This is really just a, a short overview so we can show you how to just get the Dante routing uh, up and running uh, very simply on, on our DSPs. Now, in order to use Dante uh, or to root Dante, you also need to download and install uh, Dante controller. Now, I have done that already on my side, so there's Dante controller and we'll get back to that in just a moment. But what I've also pre-prepped, and you're welcome to have a look at some of our earlier webinars, I think it's part one or part two, that we explain how to set up the DSP and actually connect to the DSP or network. So today I have two of our Dante DSPs, an 8x8 Dante and a 4x4 Dante, and you can see I've already set them up with their own IP addresses and connected them both to my software. So that is my 4x4 Dante units, and you can see there I have my four analog inputs, my four analog outputs, and then four Dante inputs and four Dante outputs. So these Dante marked channels are the ones that you will pick up and connect with via the network connection uh, on the Dante ports on the back of the DSPs. And the same here with the 8x8, so there's my 8 analog. And then if I click and just drag my channels over, there's my 8 Dante inputs and the same here on the right hand side, there's my 8 Dante outputs. Okay, so my DSPs are set up. I have already configured them each to have their own uh, IP addresses. And as you can see, you can have multiple DSPs open also at the same time. So if you had more DSPs in the network, you could just carry on adding them in the tabs at the top. But now in order for me to do my routing of my Dante, I need to turn to Dante controller. So the routing of Dante information between two different devices is managed by the Dante controller. Now you only need to do that routing once. Once that is set up, you can close Dante controller and the routing will remain until you want to change the routing. Then you open up Dante controller again, you adjust your routing and you can close down Dante controller. So that works independently from any routing or matrixing that we will do in the, uh, the matrix itself. And we will take a look at that in, in just a moment as well. So now uh, connected to my DSPs and I want to now connect to my Dante side of my network. So the control on the DSP is separate to the Dante information flow. You can put them both onto the same network. It uh, depends on how your network gets set up. And as I mentioned, have a look at the Dante webinars and Dante certification program, and you will be able to learn and, and they'll teach you there how to do all the ins and outs and sort of what networking works and which ones uh, are to avoid. But in our case now, I've opened up Dante controller um, we are on the device info tab and everything is red. So I can see that there are devices, there are Dante devices, but I can't connect to them. There's no information. Similarly, if I click on my routing, I actually have no Dante transmitters and receivers. And this is a good time to maybe just speak about what a transmitter and receiver is. So a transmitter would, for instance, in this case, be my output channels of my 88 DSP here. So output 9 through 16 would be transmitters and input 9 to 16 on the same DSP would be receivers. And you'll see those in just a moment. But 
I can't connect. So if I can't connect to my Dante network, then I can't actually get my Dante routing. Now, the reason for this is, is because I am already set up in the dot one IP range so that I can connect to my DSPs. But out of the box, again, as, I'm, as we've mentioned in part two, the DSP would have its default IP address and the Dante network or the Dante ports on the DSPs would also have their own network. So in order now to get access to my Dante network, I need to open up my network settings and I need to change my IP settings back to DHCP mode. So I'm going to press edit and go back to automatic DHCP, save. And now if I go back into Dante controller, you'll see that the Dante controller is busy refreshing because I've changed my network settings. You'll see at the back end there, I've lost connection now to my two DSPs. And now I am seeing four Dante units here, all black and no, but none of them are in red. So basically now I have connection to all all my devices. If I now click on clock status, you'll see that the top one here, that's the 8x8 matrix, that's the 4x4, uh, sorry, 8x8 DSP, and that's the 4x4 DSP, and my 8x8 is my preferred leader, and this unit will actually provide clock status information to sync all the different Dante channels together. So there we go. Now I have connection to my Dante network. I can now open up each of these devices by double clicking them and I can see some friendly names. I can name all my channels here, see where they're connected to, see if there's signals flowing. I can access them all from here as well. So you can do a few things here now to control your Dante side. As I mentioned, have a look at, at Ordinate. They'll, they'll show you all the ins and outs there. But if I wanted to create my own network uh, for my Dante system, then I could go to my network config here and again, configure my network to the right address. So I could, for instance, now match my DSP's IP address, which is .1.11, but now I'm put it into a different VLAN and I can make it .2.11 or my 4x4 D DSP is .1.12. I can make that. 192.168.2.12 so you can configure uh, this network as you please uh, i'm not going to do that right now so we're going to keep our dante network in dhcp mode which means all the devices will just communicate with each other uh, quite easily so as i mentioned you can go ahead and set up all four units and give them friendly names and you can customize a little bit of that in the back end okay so now I click back on my routing tab. You, now you will see that there are three devices on receivers and three devices on transmitters. Now what we have, as I mentioned, that is my 8x8 DSP. That is my 4x4 DSP. This unit here is a, a generic two channel receiver and that is a two channel transmitter. So this is basically a uh, two input to Dante converter, and that's a two output, so two XLR outs to Dante, uh, or Dante to XLR out if it's the receiver actually on this side. Now I can individually open up just my receivers there, or just my transmitters there, or I can then open up all my transmitters and all my receivers. Now let's create a, a small scenario. I want to stream this microphone that I'm speaking on to my secondary DSP. And um, so I want to stream Dante output one to from my 8x8 DSP to Dante input one so that I can send this microphone that I'm talking on to my 4x4 DSP and process the same mic signal there and maybe read it somewhere else. So in order to do that, I'm going to output Dante one. So this transmitter here is my Dante one out. I'm going to send that to my Dante one input here on my receiver side for my 4x4 DSP. So it's quite simple. I follow down the cross point and I follow that cross point. And once I click this cross point, it would think about it for a second. And as soon as you get the green tick, it means that route has now been established. So that is now a fixed route. You'll see there it says subscription status is connected. And that means it's sending Dante output from Dante output one from my 8x8 DSP to Dante input one of my 4x4 DSP. Now I could similarly just carry on and route them sequentially like that. And that would mean that 
output one to input one uh, is rooted permanently in that case. I can also then, for instance, now, if I wanted to create two additional outputs on my 4x4 Dante unit, I can then take my output one and output two of my 4x4 Dante and route them to my two channel output converter. And I could also bring my two channel input converter back into my 8x8 DSP maybe and route them as output one and two into input one and two of my 8x8 DSP. So there I've established some basic routing. I can also again, uh, if I wanted to route my 4x4, some channels, maybe channel three and four here uh, into my 8x8 DSP. Um, but for now, we've established some basic routing and you'll see everything is green, which means all my devices are talking to each other. Everything is happy and I can now go ahead if I'm happy with my routing close my Dante controller so I don't need to keep a Dante controller open in order to to have that that working but now I'm back on my DSP control side now I want to actually establish what signals I'm sending in those routes again now I can't connect to my DSPs because I am in a DHCP mode I need to put my computer back now into a fixed IP so I'll go ahead and just quickly do that so my computer was IP address 10. Put in my subnet and my gateway. Uh, sorry, dot one. And my DNS because Windows asking for it. And there I am. So now I am back in the dot one network range. Close that down. I'll refresh. I am selected here on my 8x8 DSP, so there's my 8x8, so I'll connect my 8x8, there we go, connecting on my 4x4, back to my device list and reconnect, there we go. So now we have signal, uh, sorry, control established of my two DSPs again, and yeah, I have my microphone that I'm speaking on at the moment, so this audio now is available to root. Now I know that I have established a route on my Dante out or Dante Dante one outputs. So now I come to my matrix and I follow my input one to output nine, which is my first Dante output. So you'll see as I route it over here, you'll see that Dante output one here or output nine will start sending signals. So there we are. Now I've established signal into uh, Dante output nine. If I now come across to my DSP uh, 4x4 now you can see here I have input signal on Dante input 5 or Dante input 1 which is input 5 on my uh, DSP if I come back to my 4x4 uh, sorry my 8x8 and I unroute that channel come back into here now you can see I don't have signal flowing from there so there you have it that is the basics of Dante routing I could, for instance, now uh, route, route anything through from my matrixes uh, in and out into multiple DSPs and create uh, advanced signal flow between multiple DSPs, multiple systems, uh, utilize Dante microphones, Dante amplification that I can then send my outputs from my DSPs directly over the Dante network to those devices. That about covers our presentation for this video. As always, if you would like to get any more information of our Alphatron DSPs or any of our other products, visit us on our website at alphatronelectronics.com. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe, drop us a like if you enjoyed this content, and don't forget to activate the notification bell so you can be informed whenever we post new content right here on our Alphatron Electronics YouTube channel. See you soon.